Why would you form a committee of 10 people to fix a leaking roof? Which country are we? What are we saying as a nation? A whole, it shows to the incompetence of CS Murkomen. Because if he will form a committee to fix a leaking roof, what will happen to roads that have stored in land? He will form a whole African Union or United Nations. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will not take much of your time. I appreciate your presence. Uh, uh, and you know what has just happened at the Senate chamber? Uh, I've been thrown out uh, by the speaker, the sessional speaker, uh, for trying to speak out on behalf of the great people of Nandi. I know, as you are aware, as per the standing order of the Senate, this today was the uh, appearances of cabinet secretaries, uh, cabinet secretary of roads, cabinet secretary of sports and arts, and also cabinet secretary of national treasury. The, st the tradition of parliament is that after the main question has been asked, in the Senate you are given opportunity to, to ask uh, a supplementary question. And it is very unfortunate because I have been waiting for the CS of Rhodes Murkomen to grill him and ask questions in the Senate as per the standing orders. As you are aware, two weeks ago or one, one, one week ago, they came and uh, insulted me. He came and insulted me, Nandi. And it's the same questions I wanted to ask today is the questions that were on the that have been there. For example, about Kaiboy Chepterwai Chepsaita Road, there was Nandil Simaki Road, there was Lesos Chepterit Center, uh, Chepterit Center, Rosori, there was also Mugundo in Nandil's Town Road, there was Boito Maraba Kopere Road, there is Kaiboy Selia Road. And there is the road from Digiri, Kipkelion, Tindred, West Pokot Road. And then there was the matter of Kerengaya Strip in Kericho. And also the issue of train uh, towards uh, Bomet in Rift Valley. So members of the press, these were my questions that I wanted to bring to the attention of the CS as per the standing order 51 of the Senate standing orders. So unfortunately the speaker found it wise or unwise not to allow me. And I had sat from 9.30 patiently, and I had queued even on the dashboard. I was number one. And I wanted to speak. I was not speaking because, as Cherarge, I was speaking on behalf of many Kenyans and people of Nandi who elected me. And these roads have stalled since 2017. The CS in January uh, 2023 came to Mosoriat in Nandi and said within three weeks these contractors would have reported to the pathetic road states, uh, road in Nandi. Even the one of, uh, there was one of uh, uh, che Chemuswa Danger. All those roads were supposed, the contractor should have reported. So these were just my simple questions that I wanted to ask the, the CS of roads. And it looks like uh, the house was captured by the CS of roads because I am a ranking member. I had queued earlier and there is a standard and tradition of parliament where you give priority to ranking members. It has been established in Commonwealth tradition. Number two, the question was on Kerenga Air Strip, Eldoret International Airport, Kisumu International Airport, the leaking, JKI roof. Those were my questions that I wanted to ask to find. Why would you form a committee of 10 people to fix a leaking roof? Which country are we? What are we saying as a nation? A whole, it shows to the incompetence of CS Murkomen. Because if he will form a committee to fix a leaking roof, what will happen to roads that have stalled in land? It will form a whole African Union or United <laughs> Nations to come and fix the roads in Nandi. Because if we cannot fix a leaking roof, if it is to fix, I, I can imagine, what about the stalled roads in Kenya? So that is the incompetence I wanted to call out on the floor of the house. And it is very unfortunate that because of other dynamics, he are captured the house to sweet to his feet because even he was making sniping remarks he was even answering senators directly which is not the procedure of the standing orders you answer the house through the speaker and any question that is asked by a member is owned by the house it is not the exclusiveness so we wanted to call out such incompetencies this Mombasa road from here the lower deck it is flooding it's not marked a contractor went away with billions of shillings in the lower deck Kenyans are the, the, this city it's like a floating city in the biblical era. The roads are being washed away, and you had him, he defended the Chinese. Why would you defend that? We go and borrow a loan from a Chinese. 
we bring it from China here, then we give to contractors of China to go back with our money. What will happen to our local contractors? And that is why I'm proposing, I'm coming up with a legislative force called Public Procurement and Disposal Act to amend, to say that all contracts below two billion exclusively to local contractors, which are Kenyans, and number two, all contracts below 200 million should be given to youth and special interest group. And I've shared, it is with the legislative services. I know it will be gazetted and I'll share with this. Number two, another final question I wanted to ask him is on the issue of Kenya Airways. And I'll share you with a copy. I wanted to ask what is uh, air, aircraft fuel and oil contracts? The, the, issue, uh, the issue is why the aircrafts could not be converted to cargo. Like, for example, he gave out Three aircrafts. Uh, uh, the, the KQ have granted three aircrafts. B8, B7, and A7 registered 5Y, KZJ for eight months. And two aircraft, 737-700, registered 5Y, KQH, and 5Y, KQG, since 2020. The questions was the follows, was to ask why the air aircrafts could not be converted to cargo owned by KQ like 737-700. 300S, which are much older than 700. Number two, the issue of KQ leases, where aircrafts are parked, you know, uh, like in, 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 uh, in Ethro, in Artsfield, in, in even in New York. Number three, what, uh, what has happened to the paying of parking fees by the K KQ? Of course, the small matter of the ricking roofs in uh, KQ, and also disembarking of passengers. You know, now people are being rained on at JKIA. You disembark 50 meters from the, from the veranda and you get rained on. You can imagine if they are disabled or people who are expectant, uh, people who are and other children, people who are sick, you can imagine the inconvenience. And then um, there have been also removal of parts of some of the station aircrafts. And I'll give you this so that you get the specifications of those aircraft. And then uh, the issue of financial losses, uh, including... Uh, why would he donate to Mangu High School a plane which is still new? And this plane, if you look at this plane, why would you donate a plane that is worth 100 million US dollars to a school? You donate toys. What do you expect a high school child to do with a plane? And this plane is still new. That plane, according to the valuation, is 100 million US dollars. Uh, and it could have generated around 600,000. US dollars. I've done my homework very well. That's why they feared me speaking at the floor of the house. Some people could have gone for a long call and short call combined. Was the aircraft... Because we wanted to see the value report. These are serious issues. I'm not personal. I'm just asking questions uh, that are there. And then uh, what about the book value? So I had... I, and then the operational capability the implementation of the Senate report of 2015, McKenzie report of 2015-2016, Deloitte report of 2016, and the, the famous small matter of Polish five consultants of 2019, and then uh, this group, the, the one called Steer Group of uh, March 2021. We wanted to know how much audit was paid by KQ, what were the recommendations, what are the AI expatriates expected to, to be there. So these were my only, they were only two, three questions. The roads in Nandi, the issue of Karengaya Strip and in, in Eldoret International Airport, the small matter of ricking roofs, and then uh, the JKI uh, Kisumu. Kisumu does not even have a sewerage, Kisumu International Airport. And uh, you know Karenga, by the way, is very interesting because it's the only airport in Africa and in the world where you get stuck. Have you guys seen a plane which gets stuck? And it's the only plane where you board while wearing a gambut. Some of us wear a gambut so that we board, we go to the farm. But Karenga Yastrip is the opposite, and you saw what happened. So these were the issues, the three questions. I didn't want to be personal, but it seems he has, and I, and, I, and I want to say without fear of contradiction, personally, Sinunu Iwoga, because Beya Iwoga Ilishuka, Ata Waginipea Free, Sue Sinunua. So I know truth will always stand with me. The people like Jean Maria Serone, the people who stood with the right are still remembered because they stood with the people. I want to assure my people of Nandi and the great people of Kenya, we shall continue speaking the truth and doing our oversight work, work without fear of anybody, including 10% from Chinese. You don't go and eat 10% of Chinese and come and vomit out our legs. We'll call you out when time comes. And I still have many doors here to show when the CS visited. 
that one is too hot, eh? Can we? He visited. I am trying to get China Uyi. In China, he has visited China severally. And you heard at the floor of the house defending Chinese contractors. Where will the Hasla contractors who voted for us go if you are giving them contract? Because he received a bribe, and I am daring him to come clean on the allegation of receiving 100 million US dollars from China Uyi when he visited in the month of between June and, and October. I want him to come out and tell the country. Because every time when he came to insult me in the funeral, he defended the Chinese contract. Who will defend Kenyans who are contractors? Or does it mean Kenyans, we don't have capacity of doing roads? Even slashing and, and clocking drainages, do we need Chinese to come and slash? Where will our young people who do not have jobs go? So I want to dare him to tell the country what agreement did they agree on allegations of receiving 100 million US dollars from China, where he was paid an afro of 50 million US dollars? And we have all the facts. We have the flight manifest. We know where the money is in Dubai. It is that some of us are just keeping what we call decency, but it has reached a time that the country must know the truth. And that is why he decided to ensure he gets protection from the house so that some of us do not speak and tell the country the truth. So no questions. I will rest at that. Uh, I will keep you in touch. I'll just give you the one of KQ so that you can get a, a, you can get just you can share because I have a copy so that you get that specification of that air aircraft. And I know media have been very critical to him going around the world. He has been trying to mobilize resources and ensure those resources are, are brought to the country. My only problem has been cabinet secretaries who sleep on the job. Because the president has gone out, uh, talked to the IMF, talked to everybody to get resources. So this year they should work. Some of them, instead of working, they go on a shopping spree. They wear 130,000. It's called Salvatore Cabarmaco. They wear expensive <laughs> watches. They wear a lot of things instead of concentrating on the core business. And that is our concern. And you know, as the oversight, we have also to assist. And you heard what I said in Bomet before the president. Finally, the president is keen on ensuring equitable development across the country. But the Sakiswaili word say, Kila Mwambangoma uvuta kwake. Since I'm elected by the people of Nandi, I am there to always ask, just like any elected leader to say, where is the share of Nandi? Other people from Mandela will say, so Kila Mwambangoma uvuta kwake. I cannot answer for the other regions. I can only answer for Nandi because there are many projects. Of course, issue of subsidized fertilizer, we thank the president, that one has been done. Yesterday we commissioned dryers of maize, it has been done. The price of maize is doing very well. Coffee and sugar reforms are ongoing. The issue of milk prices is being addressed. So this issue of roads, this issue of roads, because CS Linturi brought to us dryers to Mosori at NCPB yesterday. This issue of roads is because somebody incompetent is busy demeaning some of us and insulting. And you know, my brother Murkomen is busy insulting people in funerals than fixing roads. And that is why I was assisting him, telling him, get back to road. You know, they say when you miss the road, get back to road. So thank you very much. God bless you. All the best to the Thank you very much. More radio, 88.2 FM. We are in charge.